Hi and welcome to the seventh part of our 10 part series on how to use your camera. My name's Matt and I'm going to be showing you all of your camera's key settings so that you can start taking pictures straight away. Today we'll be looking at your camera's focusing modes. I'll be explaining what options are available and which you should use in different situations. Most cameras can be set to one of three focusing modes, autofocus, continuous focus and manual focus. These may be titled differently depending on the camera you're using. For example, Canon calls its standard autofocus mode One Shot and its continuous focus mode AI Servo. Nikon, meanwhile, calls its standard autofocus mode Single Servo and its continuous autofocus mode Continuous Servo. There may be a third option which automatically switches between the two options when the camera it senses it needs to as well. So when should you use each option? Most of the time you can stick to the default autofocus option. This will focus automatically on the subject when you half press the shutter release button. If you need to refocus, simply lift your finger up and press it down halfway again. The continuous focus option is useful when you have a moving subject, as it aims to keep the subject in focus as it changes position. So you can switch to this when shooting sports or for other action photography. When you half press the shutter release button, the camera will take a note of the subject and it will follow it around the frame if it moves. The manual option is useful in situations where your camera may struggle to find focus. For example, sometimes it might not be able to find focus against the darker subject as it won't be able to sense their details. It may also become confused in bright conditions, particularly when shooting towards the sun. Switching to manual focus allows you to fine tune focus so it's exactly as you want it. Some cameras also provide the option of magnifying the live view preview when shooting in manual focus, and this can help you see what you're focusing on more clearly. Other models have a feature called focus peaking, where areas that come into focus begin to display highlights so that you know when you've reached the right point. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Next time we'll be looking at your camera's exposure compensation function. For more tips and advice, visit us on Facebook, Twitter or Google+, or check out wexphotographic.com forward slash blog.